guys, and welcome back for another Madden 23 Falcons franchise gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel, man, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel, and I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single episode. But for those of you who have been following this Falcons franchise for a while now, we're now in week number 12, and our Falcons are on a nine-game win streak. We're sitting with a record of nine and two. And every single week, man, we've just been letting everybody know, like, yeah, look, we're a young team, but we're not to be messed with. We're fresh off of a win in week number 11 up against the Chicago Bears, where Cordell Patterson just went crazy against his former team, did damage to them on the ground attack, did damage to the air. So Cordell, like I said before, man, he's just one of those guys that we have to make sure that we get involved in our offense just to make sure that things keep on flowing correctly. But today's opponent is the Washington Commanders. Don't get it twisted. This is not my Washington Commanders. Honestly, I cannot imagine my Falcons taking on my Washington Commanders team. That would just be ridiculous. But holy crap, talk about ridiculous. Sam Howell has thrown 44 interceptions on the season, man. We're only 11 games in, technically. This is game number 12, and Sam Howell has 44 interceptions. That's crazy, man. That's just ridiculous. Uh, but Brian Robinson Jr. is going to be the leading running back for them. And this Washington Commanders team is actually looking kind of like... I don't know. I don't understand this. Logan Thomas is the leading receiver, even though they have, they still have Terry McLaurin on the team. I believe he also has Curtis Samuel as well. So he's got receivers. I just don't know why he's choosing to throw to his tight end over Terry McLaurin, who is, still has X Factor or whatever. But anyways, we know what we have to worry about with the defense with Montez Sweat and Chase Young. Let's get to the game and take on the Commanders. This building holds just north Live from Landover, Maryland, we are ready to bring you an NFC battle between the Atlanta Falcons and the Washington Commanders. The Commanders have really struggled this season and are hoping to find something in today's game for them to build upon for next season as it doesn't seem that they will be participating in postseason football this year. They will get the ball first down to 10 from the 25-yard line. Sam Howell in the shotgun formation, looking, scanning the field. Hit as he released that ball and it's going to be intercepted by Jalen Hawkins. Hawkins on the return. He's going to be brought down at the 37-yard line and that did not take long for Sam Howell to throw his 45th interception of the season. This is exactly the reason why the Commanders have struggled so far as who oh, we got away with one with Desmond Ritter there Danny Johnson had great coverage there second down and ten handoff goes to Cordell Patterson who finds some running space he's almost there to the first down marker but they're gonna mark him just inches to try here on third down to inches from the 28 yard line Ritter back to throw under pressure looking for Cordell Patterson in the flats and just barely overthrew him fourth down on inches we're gonna lead the offense on the field Desmond Ritter back in the shotgun formation making some adjustments at the line of scrimmage trying to get his guys in the right play call setting snaps away Ritter quick throw in the flats for Justin Ross is gonna be complete he steps out of bounds at the 21 yard line on the doorstep of the red zone first down yet again here for the Falcons Ritter looking to throw completes to Justin Ross yet again across the middle has the Oh, almost has the first down, gaining nine yards to the 11 yard line. Second down and one, right back to Cordell Patterson. Gets some nice blocking there, but he's gonna be stopped at the eight yard line by Cole Holcomb, made a nice open field tackle. It's now first down and goal for the Falcons. Ritter looking for the end zone, and he threads the needle there to Drake London in the end zone for a touchdown. That was a dangerous throw there by Desmond Ritter, but he put enough heat on that one to sneak it past the defensive back, and now the Falcons have a seven point lead here in the first quarter and the defense is ready to come back out on the field with a little bit more momentum on their side after already coming away with one stop trying to do it again first down handoff goes to Brian Robinson and the Falcons defense swarms them stopping him for just a gain of a yard on the play second down now from the 26 yard line play action fake here for Sam Howell quick throw in the flash to Logan Thomas is going to be complete he's able to get all the way up to the 38 yard line for a first down first down to 10 from the 38 yard line handoff goes to Brian Robinson and he continues to struggle to find any running room stop for another loss on the play. Second down and 11. Play action fake here for Sam Howell. Scanning in the pocket. Hit as he released that ball again, but this one falls incomplete. Looks like he was targeting Terry McLaurin on that throw. Third down and 11. And a chance for the Falcons defense to get off the field. Pressure's on and Lorenzo Carter's coming through untouched, unblocked. And down goes Sam Howell, losing seven yards on that sack. And Tressway is going to have to punt this one away. And a great stop for the Falcons defense. Interception on the first time. And hold up. Cordell Patterson's off on this return, making this a good one. This is going to be a great starting field position here for Desmond Ritter. But shout out to our defense, man. Interception on the first possession of the day. They come out and force a turnover on downs on their second. And our Falcons are now in scoring range inside the red zone at the 16-yard line. Chance to make this a two-score game. Handoff goes to Cordell Patterson. Finds a little 
bit of a crease, is able to turn that into a gain of three yards to the 13-yard line. Second down to seven, Ritter in the shotgun formation. The blitz is on by the commanders, but Ritter standing strong. Ends up throwing for Drake London a little bit behind him there, but he's still able to bring it in for a nice gain on the play. Third down to four from the 10. Quick throw on the flash for Cordell Patterson. Stiff arm at the one, and he's going to be stopped right there at the one-yard line. First down and goal situation for the Atlanta Falcons. Ritter looking to throw again, looking for Drake London. He's got him, Drake London, for his second receiving touchdown of the game. And the Falcons are just having their way with this commander's defense. There's nothing they can do to slow down the passing attack. This connection that Drake London and Desmond Ritter have right now has already connected twice. And Cordell Patterson, he, he's just doing his thing, man. It doesn't matter. In the run game, it hasn't really gotten too involved in the passing game. But even in special teams, that nice return to set us up at the 30-yard line was just beautiful. And oh, my God. Sam Howell got punished there on the read option there. But is able to get the pitch away to Brian Robinson. Turns that into a, a Falcons first down to the 28-yard line. The commanders have got to get something going on this drive. Or otherwise, they're in danger of just being out of this game sooner than what they would rather like to be. I mean, it's only a two-score game right now at this point. But if we're able to get a stop here on this drive and get the ball back to our offense and go up three scores, it could look really ugly. But look, so far, it's looking good as Sam Howell ends up completing that pass underneath to his tight end for a gain of nine yards on the play. Second down and one. Here comes the ugly as Sam Howell cancels the play action. He's going to go down for a loss of four yards there. Brings up a third down to five from the 44-yard line. But Sam Howell showing ice in his veins that he stands strong in the pocket. Ends up finding Terry McLaurin underneath, keeping this drive alive to the 31-yard line. First down and 10, and Sam Howell's looking for a shot. He's going for the end zone, and Logan Thomas comes down with it in the pack of the end zone. The commanders have finally found the end zone, and they kept themselves in this game for now. But... I got to be honest, man. That was just a lucky throw. I had my best coverage receiver or coverage corner on Logan Thomas there. But I guess size does matter in Madden. I mean, AJ Terrell is like only, what, like 5'11", I believe. Logan Thomas is like 6'6". Six six, so really all Sam Howell had to do was just throw it up there for him. He's going to come down with it. First down and 10 here for Desmond Ritter. Looking to throw. Going underneath there to Cordell Patterson. Didn't see anything downfield that we liked. So it makes a smart read and checks that one down for a gain of seven yards in the play. Second down and three for Ritter. Scanning the field once again. Looking to take a shot downfield. But again, just great coverage here by the Washington Commanders. I really want to take a shot for Al Alan Lazard or Justin Ross downfield, but they play pretty good coverage down the field. We get heads and we release that ball, and that one's going to fall incomplete. That's the second time that the commanders have been able to get pressure on us. We don't want to allow that front four to really just go crazy against us. We go with the jet sweep here to Justin Ross. He turns the corner and he's able to get a gain of six yards. That makes this third down a lot more manageable. It's third down to four from the 35-yard line, and Desmond Ritter's in the shotgun formation. Scanning the field, doesn't see anything he likes. Going for Alan Lazard and threads the needle there over top of Cole Holcomb and drops that one into a window that I'm not sure too many quarterbacks, too many rookie quarterbacks could even hit. Desmond Ritter feeling good after that conversion. He's taking a shot deep downfield for Justin Ross and that pass is going to be broken up incomplete. Try to see if we can get a little jump ball of our own going. Second on 10, we go right back to the ground attack and Jonathan Allen is waiting for Cordell Patterson. Stops him for just a gain of a yard on the play. Another big third down situation. Third down and nine. Desmond Ritter feeling the pressure from Allen. He's going to get hit and brought down at the 41 yard line huge loss on the play and the Washington Commanders shout out to their defense for stepping up making the play when they needed to giving their offense a chance in this one to tie this game up after the punt first down and 10 for Sam Howe under center at the 28 yard line he's going to hand the ball off to Brian Robinson Jr. who finds some space he's across midfield at the 45 40 he's going to be brought down but he fumbles the ball inbounds at the 37 yard line and AJ Terrell recovers it but he did have a foot out of bounds so it is still going to be Washington ball even though I don't think that is a fumble the booth is going to review it and yeah the, that call is going to be overturned so I'm sure Brian Robinson will be happy to have that fumble taken off of his record that will help him towards contract time first down and 10 from the uh, 38 yard line go, turns it to a gain of one yards second down and nine quick throw in the flats for the tight end he's got it completed all the way down to the 31 yard line 16 seconds left here in the second quarter that clock is still ticking away and I don't know what the Washington Commanders were thinking there. I mean, I saw the clock going down, and he didn't call timeout. I for damn sure wasn't going to call timeout. And they just kind of fumbled the bag there, man. They definitely had a chance to tie the game up if they used their timeout properly, which they didn't. 
and I mean at the very least they could have at least gotten a field goal but they got nothing and we're just count that as a defense to stop there for us we, now we still have the ball back on offense with the seven point lead first down completion goes to Kyle Pitts turns to a second down to five from the 24 yard line quick throw on the flats is going to be complete again to Cordell Patterson has the first down to the 31 this Falcons offense is rolling now we just got to get this one into the end zone and just kind of really avoid those fourth down situation or third down situations where we're in third down and long and just allowing this pressure to get to us. First down and 10 after Desmond Ritter uses his legs. That's not something we've seen too much out of him this season. Steps up, felt the pressure, and throws that one right back to the Washington Commanders defense. That ball went directly to the linebacker Jones. Pressure caused there by Jonathan Allen, and this is just a horrible situation to be in, man. First down and 10, handoff goes to Brian Robinson. He's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Actually ends up losing a yard on the play back to the 48-yard line. Second down and 11, play action fake here for Sam Howell. Looking for something, can't find anything. Got hit as he released that ball. It's going to fall incomplete. Third down and 11, the Washington Commanders find themselves in a must-pass situation. The Falcons defense knows that they're sending the pressure at Sam Howell, and he sails that one for Brian Robinson, but that was like 15 yards ahead of him. And, of course, it's going to be an incompletion. And the Falcons defense holds and gets the ball right back to Desmond Ritter, who can hopefully protect the ball a little bit better than he did before. I mean, granted, I understand that this pass rush is no joke that the Commanders have, man. This is no joke what type of pass rush this is, but we're 9-2. We're one of the best best teams in, in the NFC and we really need to start acting like it and go win this game. Second down of seven, Ritter makes a smart read and checks that one down to the backup running back Algier out of the backfield. Gets a nice game, gets us to a third down to four from the 27 yard line. Ritter feels the pressure here. He stands strong in the pocket, ends up finding Cordell Patterson underneath, has the first down as he's going to be brought down after a gain of 10 yards. First down and 10 and Desmond Ritter has control of this offense right now. We're moving pretty well. Threads the needle yet again behind the linebacker to Kyle Pitts for the first down to the 48-yard line, gain of 11 yards on the play. First and 10, Ritter scanning the field, doesn't see anything. He lights, decides to take off with it and use his legs, scrambles for a gain of five yards on the play. Second down and five from the 47-yard line. Ritter changing the play up here at the line of scrimmage, didn't like what he saw. Scans, quick throw in the, uh, the flats for, to a wide open Kyle Pitts, and Pitts is going to have just enough yardage for the first down as he's able to get that ball to the 42-yard line. First down throwing again for Desmond Ritter. Across the middle for Drake London. Haven't called his name since the first quarter, but Drake London gets involved in the offense yet again down to the 20-yard line. Ritter from the 20 looking to throw for the end zone. Looking for Justin Ross. He's got him in the back of the end zone. Justin Ross goes up over top of Danny Johnson. Gets that ball into the end zone. And, I mean, it might just be the number 11 that Justin Ross is wearing, but... Honestly, I see this man as like a young baby Julio Jones. Like Justin Ross is just a big dude out there. He's like six foot six. He's wearing the number eleven. He's playing in Atlanta. I mean, it's hard not to compare him to Julio Jones with the way that he's playing football right now. But I love the way that the offense is moving. Now up fourteen points, and they're trying to take another shot this time for uh, Logan Thomas. But instead of going for the interception, we're just going to go ahead and swat that ball away. Second down and ten from the twenty-five yard line. An empty formation here for Sam Howell, looking going deep down field and that ball is going to be complete to his tight end Logan Thomas definitely thought that was going to be an interception but shout out to Logan Thomas for going to go get that ball saved his young quarterback Sam Howell who's going deep yet again for Jahan Dotson that ball is going to be swatted away second down and 10 from the 47 yard line for Sam Howell looking to throw to get his team back in this game and that was a dangerous throw Sam Howell almost threw his 46th interception of the year right at the end of the third quarter I mean I understand what he's trying to do but just like I said for Desmond Ritter, man, you got to be safe with the ball. That Those interceptions, they're going to come back to bite you, and it's going to bite you bad. Third down throw, I don't know who he was throwing that ball to. That one sailed out of bounds without even a shot. Tressway is going to come on and punt this ball away at fourth down and 10. I believe the commanders could have gone for this. I mean, they are down 14 points, and we're in the fourth quarter, but they say, like, hey, we're just going to go ahead and trust our defense. And I'm not mad at that decision at all. As look at the defense screaming through, ends up hitting Desmond Ritter. Ball is fumbled but recovered by the running back, Algier. It's now second down and 19 from the 11-yard line. Desmond Ritter looking to hand this ball off to Cordell Patterson, and we just could not find any running room at all. 
Third down and 19, we got to put this ball in the air. Desmond Ritter looking. He's going deep for Alan Lazard, who has Benjamin St. Juice on him, and that ball is going to be broken up and it's going to be incomplete. Washington's defense is coming away with a huge stop there and just providing the office opportunities to come back in this game with enough time in the fourth quarter, only down 14 points. Let's see what Sam Howell is able to do as Tariq Cohen somehow survived that punt return. Should have gotten his head taken off as soon as he touched the ball. First down and 10 here for Sam Howell. Goes right back to his big guy, Logan Thomas, who's just been his go-to target. And that's just surprising to say with a team that has Terry McLaurin on it that the tight end is the go-to target. First down from the 26-yard line. Sam Howell ends up finding Curtis Samuels in the middle of the field. Has the first down. Is all the way down inside the five-yard line. First down and goal. Handoff goes to Brian Robinson. Gets the edge. Gets away from Lorenzo Carter and into the end zone. The Falcons' lead is now down to just seven. No. It's going to be an eight-point lead for the Falcons as Joey Sly hooks that extra point wide left. And, I mean, it's still a one-score game, but now it just puts even more pressure on the commander's offense and really their defense at this point, too. Because First off, the defense has to get a second stop, and their offense is going to have to not only get a touchdown, but get a two-point conversion at the same time. First down and 10, we go with the jet sweep here to Demir Bird, and that goes nowhere. Second down and nine for Desmond Ritter looking to throw. Ends up finding Alan Lazard, has the first down, falls four for a gain of 15 yards to the 40-yard line. First down and 10, throwing one more time as Desmond Ritter scanning the field, decides to step up, throwing the run, complete to Alan Lazard. Oh, my goodness, Desmond Ritter with the threat of using his legs, brought that linebacker up, opened up a window for Lazard, and oh, my goodness, Jonathan Allen has just controlled the middle of this offensive line. Line, stopping Cordell Patterson in the backfield for a loss of three yards on the play. Two-minute warning approaching here. Ritter throwing from the midfield mark. Ends up completing that pass to Cordell Patterson in the flats. Gets a gain of six yards to the 43-yard line. Uh, third down to seven here for Desmond Ritter. Once again in the pocket, scanning, finding a wide open Drake London at the 35-yard line. Scampers his way all the way down inside the red zone. It's going to be touched down at the 19-yard line. First down and 10, under two minutes, and the commanders have not called any timeouts at all yet. We're just going to go ahead and be content with running this ball, just letting this clock go down. We're now down under 35 seconds left, and it doesn't seem that the commanders even want to try it anymore. Well, there goes the timeout there at 30 seconds. Third down and three, this is going to be the game on the line right here. Ritter looking to throw, ends up finding a wide open Kyle Pitts underneath. Pitts diving from the end zone, doesn't get it. He's going to be stopped right at the one yard line by Cole Holcomb, and that's just going to be the end of things there. I mean, I really wanted to get in the end zone with Kyle Pitts. I tried my hardest, but Cole Holcomb said, no, you're not getting in there. But even still, does help us get the win there. It was a very ugly win, but the Falcons will go on to 10 and 2 on the season, keeping the win streak alive at 10 games in a row. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Falcons franchise gameplays, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. They come in more prepared than ever before. Year after year, they just seem more comfortable from day one. I think you start really young now. These quarterback coaches, they play against a better competition. They go to camps across the country. Then they play big-time games.